one one thing uh, we should have started the NT elimination program itself from 1964. Possible. Or we should go to the society to find out uh, what the positive patient instead of waiting for patients coming to the medical system. We should go into the society, find out the and positive patients and treat. That we should do, no doubt about it. Latest techniques, uh, Chorat, Sibinat, all, all this actually helping us to diagnose this with negative patients. And that also, we should increase the number of uh, in, uh, specimens to be sent to the Trunat or Sibinat. And if we are able to implement these genomic studies to find out tuberculosis resistance earlier, and if, if we are able to prevent resistance, then I think we would be able to eliminate tuberculosis. This resistance is something is uh, between elimination and between us standing tall. Uh, in fight against TB, again a long way to go, no doubt about it. All our activities actually uh, began, see it is TB association formed so many years ago. We started our uh, program in 1964, I think. And um, so many, uh, after that, uh, we, there was uh, revised the national program in 1997. Then we uh, changed it to national tuberculosis elimination program. We are, of course, we are trying our best, the state and uh, all the uh, professionals, um, associate staff, all are trying our level best to control TB, no doubt about it. Everybody is trying well, no doubt. But still there are lacunae, that is the thing. Because one, one thing, uh, we should have started the NT elimination program itself from 1964. Anyway, that is that part is over. One thing is, hmm, whenever we start a program, of course, naturally a program uh, uh, started only after a well well thorough study is taken place. Only after that one, one system or government starts the program. We should give some a period for that. We should study a time, period, time frame also. Once we start, one way, uh, one way take everybody staff into the program, teach them about the program. Once, finally, once all are um, charged for this program and after that uh, after few years if you change the program that affects the program so that affects a lot of uh, money wise also cost wise also a lot of waste so once we started now we have started NTAP and we should stick to that for a particular period then only we should think of revise any further revision that is one point. Another point, definitely this resistance, typical resistance is that hurdle in front of us for, for eliminating tuberculosis. So we should definitely uh, increase the, our investment, uh, all aspects, we should learn more about this resistance and of, and of course this genomic studies might, might help us in future. So in future, if these genomic studies all become common and if we are able to implement these genomic studies to find out tuberculosis resistance earlier and if, if we are able to prevent resistance, then I think we would be able to eliminate tuberculosis. This resistance is something is uh, between elimination and between us standing tall. So definitely, this resistance has to be uh, tackled uh, very nice wisely in future also. That's my point. We should give more time to study the resistance and manage it in a society wise, not in a uh, tertiary level. But we should bring that uh, uh, tracking the development of resistance in the uh, in the primary basis we should be able to do. Once we are able to do that, we can 
definitely we will be able to control or eliminate tuberculosis. That's my point. As we all know, it is the transmissions that is the one problem. That is why it is, uh, it is spreading, spreading and spreading, number is increasing. So, in our uh, revised national program, their main uh, thing was to cut the chain, cut the chain of transmission. That was their thing. And that was somewhat successful. So, naturally transmissions through uh, contact with sputum positive patients. So, we gave more importance to find out the sputum positive patients who are the people who transmit the disease. And of course, we have the time, uh, at least we have time to treat the sputum negative patients, but we do not have time to treat the sputum positive patients because they are transmitting. So, sputum of course, sputum is the primary investigation. We should never uh, move away from the sputum uh, examination, sputum AFB. We should stick to that. We should stick to find out the sputum positive patients as early as possible. Or we should go to the society to find out uh, sputum positive patients. Instead of waiting for patients coming to the medical system, we should go into the society, find out the sputum positive patients and treat. That we should do, no doubt about it. Sputum negative patients diagnosis is a, is a challenge actually, it is a very big challenge. So naturally, <coughs> now these latest techniques, uh, Trorat, Sibinat, all, all these actually helping us to diagnose this sputum negative patients. And that also, we should increase the number of uh, in, uh, specimens to be sent to the Trorat or Sibinat. That is something what we are doing right now. All of us are doing that right now. We are taking the samples in, and one advantage is we can not only split them, we can take any sample and send for Truvenite or Sibinite. So I think that, that is, uh, Sibinite is the uh, ideal uh, solution for TB negative patients. And not only that, in some situations you will have to give uh, treatment even if you get a, even if you don't get a definite diagnosis, that is purely in the, under the discretion of the experienced uh, pulmonologist. That is what I feel. So that uh, that option also should be there to give empirical treatment for uh, suspected tuberculosis, extra pulmonary tuberculosis patients after doing all these investigations. The resistant strains are spreading and it is the most dangerous situation. So, to, if we are able to do this uh, susceptibility testing, of course, susceptibility also takes time. It has got its own some uh, what the, it, it, its own limitations. A lot of limitations are there. One is it takes time. Other one is we are not sure about the time given for each drug. Uh, to make sure that it is resistant or not. For each and every drug, time changes. We can't, we can't uh, test uh, different time for different drugs. We can do it together. So that is a disadvantage. Uh, so there are disadvantages for this split of susceptibility testing. But genomic studies definitely is going to change all these uh, disadvantages. I hope these genome studies come more and more. Finally, it becomes a uh, cost, <laughs> uh, very uh, less cost. We are, if with less cost we are able to study the genomic study, it would be very fantastic. We can prevent, not only we can detect resistance, we can prevent resistance. That is the advantage. My message is, first, we should stick to the sputum AFB. That is my first message. Sputum AFB, oh, Oh, still, sputum AFB should be the uh, uh, investigation of choice. Next, we should be able to uh, introduce our uh, newer technologies as early as possible in the social, uh, in the so into the society, and make use of the advantage of technology even up to the ground level even up to the nook and corner of India.